Hey everybody, it's your pal Impossible here, and today we're playing a game called Bear With Me, which is a, it's a noir adventure game. This one came out a, a couple of years ago, but I got it in the, from Humble, uh, the Humble Bundle store, and I, I thought it looked really cool. I want to give it a try here. It's a three-episode game, you know, episodic, kind of like Telltale uh, did. Let's see what's going on. Seems like it's trying to be serious and build up some tension. Let me just talk and totally ruin that. No tension allowed. Is everything like on fire or something? What is this black like stuff? Like it looks kind of like smoke, but something's not quite right about it. Something's a little weird there. Please wake up. Somebody dreaming? In school or something? Is that a giraffe? So I'm a little girl, and I have a giraffe as a nanny, it looks like. Well, Millie, what do you want, Millie? Let's say hi to Millie. It seems you had a nightmare. Apparently. Oh, it was a fire, okay. There was this fire, and black smoke was coming from the windows. Funny thing is, it didn't feel scary to me, like I wasn't really there. Was it Paper City? No, I don't think so. What are you doing here, Millie? Are you all right? Oh no, miss. Something terrible is happening down in Paper City. I came here as soon as I could. I wanted to warn you and your brother not to go there, but when we arrived, I could only find you. What do you mean? Miss, I'm afraid your brother is missing. I have to go find Flint. Millie, you stay here and rest. I'll come and check up on you later. Please, before you go around looking for your brother, miss, go and find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. He's retired now, but he was always so fond of you. I'm sure he'll help you out. He may not be an easygoing man, but he has a kind heart. Ted? I know where he is. He has a small office in my closet, but Ted and I, we can't work together anymore. Mostly because I'm still smart and driven, and he's become a burnout. I haven't seen him since he left the city. But whatever falling out you two had, I beg you to reconcile. Um... Well, spoiler alert, Ted is a teddy bear, so I kind of, I just want to go get okay, him. Okay, Millie, I'll go ask him. But I'm not sure if he'll even hear me out. We left off on a really bad note. It's a shame you two aren't working together anymore. You were always such good friends. But for your sake, miss, please don't go wandering around alone. There is something else I haven't told you about. The reason I came all the way down here. There is this man that came down to Paper City a week ago. He's asking a lot of questions about you. What man? We call him the Red Man. There were a lot of fires down in the city this past week. Ever since he showed up, the officials are burying their heads in the sand while this man has an entire city, your city, miss, cowering in fear. Is she like well, the mayor or something? Paper City Police Department isn't known for its heroic head-on approach to crime fighting. The mayor and the commissioner have issued a city-wide lockdown until all of this is sorted out. A lot of people are escaping the city. We managed to escape through the East Tunnel's maintenance route, but most of the exits are closed off now. You said we escaped. Is someone else here with you? The Mugshot Boys helped me through the East Tunnel. Bless their hearts. We arrived at Flint's room, but he wasn't there, so I came here to wake you up. I have to go now, Millie. I'll be back as soon as I can to come check on you. Do you need anything? I'm fine, little miss. I just need to rest, is all. Please, before you go out, find Mr. Bear and ask him to come along. Holy moly, that was a lot of talking. Like, I expected there to be a lot of talking and stuff in this game. It is, you know, an adventure game and, uh, you know, point-and-click story-driven kind of thing. But holy moly, Miss Millie would go on forever and ever. Oh, it's a closet. Is a uh, Mr. Bear in there? Let's see. 
Amber Ashworth, if I had a nickel for every time this broad got me into trouble, I'd be neck deep in nickels right now. Something was different this time. I could feel it in the air. Someone really put the scares on her. Despite her fragile appearance, Amber's a tough kid, so it was unusual to see her like this. She starts talking, and I start pretending I don't care. I told her I'm retired, for good this time. Fell on deaf ears again. Anyway, she starts talking about Millie, Paper City, her brother, and all that jazz, and I'm wondering how many times we've gone through this before. You see, we have this routine where she asks me for help, as she always does, and I play hard to get, as I always do. Eventually, I give in. We've done this so many times, I've lost count. She knows the drill, and so do I. Might as well just hear her out. Her words ring through my office. They get stuck in this haze around my head, and then... They get lost in the cold autumn rain outside, tapping on my window in this hypnotic manner. It's calming in a way, or is it the booze that makes me calm? Not much to do when you're retired, and hobbies were never my cup of tea. I know her standing in my doorway with her lady in distress shtick means bad news for me, and yet I know I'm in for it again. The sun is slowly setting and the rain gets heavy. The news said there will be a storm tonight. It looks like the bear's in. Do we hit the Hi, place of bear? I heard you've retired, but... Cut the ceremony, doll. I ain't doing it. Doing what? Whatever little plan you've schemed up this time to ruin my life. You're bad news, doll. Always were. Do me a solid this time and leave me out of it. I'm busy. I knew you wouldn't help me. I only asked because Millie insisted you come along. Millie? Are we investigating old wives' tales now? It's getting late, doll. Shouldn't you be in bed? I felt like this all just happened, but now we're experiencing it again. So it's, it's a little weird how we, we get like his uh, inner dialogue, his monologue of what's going on, and then apparently we have to live through it afterwards, which is, I don't know, weird. Um, okay, should we try to guilt him into it? Say my birthday is coming up, you better do what I want. I don't know, I was already in bed, buddy. I was buddy. in bed. Millie woke me up. Well, you should ask her to help you out then. So, you're saying I should ask an old blind woman to help me out? That old broad is tougher than she looks. Now, if you don't mind, I have some real work to do. Oh my god, you're still mad at me? After all this time? I really need your help, and I kind of promised Millie I would ask you to come along. Mad? Why would I be mad? I was almost thrown into a wood chipper thanks to you. I was lucky. One of the guys we investigated is in my bird watching, uh, poker and cigar club. And where were you? You ran off. I was following a lead. Um, somewhere else. Yeah? What'd you found out? Not much. Not a goddamn thing. Listen, doll. I've got a nice little setup here. Lately, I've been doing some tailing work for jealous husbands down in the city. Bunch of nervous train wrecks, but the money is good. I grew tired of pulling bloated toys out of Dredge River. Our days of crime fighting are over. That whole thing. It's behind us. It belongs in the past. Capiche? You've been practicing this speech, haven't you? He totally a little has. Bit. How was it? It was okay. The part about the bodies was a bit much. I threw that in for dramatic effect. It wasn't in the original draft, though. No, no, it was good. It gets the point across. Does it really? You're still here, and I still have a lot of work to do. You had nothing to do, Bear. You know it. You owe me rent, I guess. No. You know, I want you to come with me, Mr. Bear. Do we Let's get really over yourself. have to do this whole bit again? Fine. This is dragging on for way too long, and it's past my office out. What's this nonsense all about anyways? So, according to Millie, a lot of things are happening down in Paper City lately. What things? Like all sorts of bad things, and there's this guy that's responsible. According to Millie? The mayor has issued a citywide lockdown. No one is allowed to leave or enter the city limits until all of this is sorted out. 
they've managed to escape through the East Tunnel maintenance route. But I think that's been closed off, too. They? Oh, the, where'd she say helped her out? Paper City, or no, it's an orchestra. Paper Mache Association. I, I don't even know. Bird Watcher. Maybe we'll mention the Bird Watchers just to get them interested. We'll see. Um, yeah. Millie and the Bird Watchers of the world? What? The BWOW is here, but they all went north last month. It's yellow cardinal season and an early start. I mean, what? I never heard of those guys before. What in the hell are you talking about? Are you making this up? Yeah, sorry. The mugshot boys helped her out. I know how much you don't like them. I mean, what's not to like? The fact that they're thieves and thugs? They literally stole a candy from a baby once. But wasn't that baby an undercover cop? Well, yeah, it was. But they didn't know that. Now, did they? Anyways, they helped her escape the city through the East Tunnel, the one that leads to Flint's room, and she said he wasn't there. She believes he's gone missing. I need to go and check on Flint. Maybe he's still in the house, but Millie doesn't want me to go alone. She says it's possible for the Red Man to have found an exit to my house. She's really scared. Wait, what Red Man? She was telling me about this man, dressed completely in red. He came down to Paper City recently and was asking questions about me. He's asking questions about you? What's so interesting about you? Rude. Hey, I'll have you know there are a lot of people out there who find me interesting. Millie is really scared of this man. I can't leave anything to chance. Will you help me out? Whoa there, sugar cup. Even if I come along, and I'm still thinking that one over. I'm afraid a crucial component that'll help in our future investigation is missing. Um, let's see. Well, we want to look for the brother, so, you know, him being missing is kind of obvious. He has his nose, so we can't say that. He's missing his hat. He's totally missing his hat. Your hat? No. I'm phasing that one out. No hats. Your magnifier? That's right, doll face. Now be a good assistant and go find it for me. I'm sorry, your assistant? You know what I mean. Now get cracking. Okay. He says doll a whole lot. I think they kind of forced that a bit. All right, so we're looking for magnifying glass. Uh, do we have it up here? We have a Swiss Army knife. Okay, well, that's not useful right now, apparently. Can we look in the drawer? We cannot. Um, look at the crime map. I love the yarn work, especially. Is it in the filing cabinet? It's full of Ted's past cases. Apparently not. Do we go to Amber's room, maybe? I don't see a magnifying glass there. I mean, we can go back in there and look around if I don't see it, but I figured it'd just be like on a, on a chair or something. You know, and it's maybe in her desk. Uh, her bed. Is it under her bed? Let's look at the case. Can we touch it? Let's see what's going on. Is there anything in there? Is a battery? Can we just take it? Take the battery. It's our battery now. I'll just pick this up. You never know when it might come in handy. That's true. You know, it could happen. All right, let's look over here. Can we look in the drawer? Yes, maybe there's yes, something in there. Drawers. What will they think of next? Uh, maybe I, I should have hit the hand button. I think we'll uh, open it and look inside. I assume his magnifying glass could be in there somewhere. Oh, that's right. I remember playing with this a couple of days ago. It fell on the floor and the lens broke. I'll take the magnifier with me, but I better repair it before I return it to Ted. Okay, so we found it. So now we have to repair the magnifying glass, and I have no idea how I would go about that. Um, let's check in the chest. See My if chest? There's anything in there. It's the best. Apparently her chest is the best. Pillows, card box, glasses... Take the glasses, maybe? I don't really need glasses, but maybe they'll come in handy. Better take them with me just in case. I'm a little bit of a hoarder in game, so it's like if I can grab it, I probably will. Folium Cadent. When was the last time I watered this? Oh, that's right, I didn't. It's really hanging in there. Oh, I should, should water your plants, lady. 
It's horrible. It, it, you just watched it die. Oh, it's so sad. All right. Well, do, can we? Do we have to? Oh, we can go outside. All right. Hallway west. Miss, don't go wandering around alone. Okay. So uh, we, we can't do that apparently until we have uh, Ted on our side. What's in the car, uh, card box? I just can't seem to find any time in my busy schedule to unpack properly. Okay. Look at the books. I've read all of these. Some of my favorites are Deconomicon, Dyslexia, and Cal to Fright It. Last Encounter, A Trip Through the Wormhole. Okay. A Miracle of Modern Technology. That was not overly helpful. It's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. Well, why can't you? I mean, it's a pretty, pretty important skill, let's be real. Um, should we go talk to Ted again? I'm not seeing much else we could do here. We can't go... Uh, let's just go in here and tell Ted we broke his magnifying glass. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. I broke your thing. Oh, wait, wait. We, we can touch stuff over here. Let's see what's over here. Can, can we fix any... Uh, is there, like, tape or something so we can fix the magnifying glass? It makes this place look like a proper office. I, I imagine that does help. Window, filing cabinet, fan, clothes. These are my clothes. The colors are more on the bright side, but I can't help it. I love vivid colors. Not that you could tell in a black and white game. It's my field hockey mask. My friend Jason wants to borrow it. As far as I'm concerned, he can have it. What's the worst that can happen? Ah, Jason reference. Okay, sneakers. I really feel like I don't own enough shoes. And no, it's not a stereotype. It's just a fact. To be fair, I only see one pair of shoes there, so it's not really that bad. I got the box this here. from Flint, with my own money. It's some guardian superhero dude. Very bleak and depressing story arc. Oh, product placement achievement unlocked. We did good things. Bell oh, I see more shoes. Okay. Click on those. What? Those must be Ted's. Yeah, Ted totally wears ballerina shoes. Well, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to say that he, he doesn't or there'd be anything wrong if he did. I don't want to go there today's day and age, but uh, I, I think it's less likely than other alternatives. Broken magnifier glass. What can I do to fix it? Can I Swiss Army knife it? I can't use that. Oh. What about glasses? I don't think so. Can I, can I do like that? Come on. I was thinking, lady, all right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to fix it. We're we supposed to find something else? I can turn the fan on or off? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let's uh, click on the record player. No more, uh, you know, old-timey noir music, apparently. All right, well, I'm, I'm starting to think that uh, whatever we're supposed to do... I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. Yeah, I think whatever we're supposed to do probably isn't in here. Well, since this office is in my closet, that window there is for purely decorative purposes. Where's the light coming from, though? That's a good question. It's a little weird. All right, so I think we've done just about, like, everything we can do in here. It's a bottle. Let's Left look at there that. for research purposes. Uh, is it, like, I'm not seeing anything else clickable here. Cry map, lamp nap, blah, 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 blah. We can't go in this drawer, which is bothering me. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave. Or maybe I was supposed to talk to Ted. You know, maybe I'll just try that real quick. I think I was supposed to fix the magnifying glass before I talked to him again, but let me just see if we can. All right. Hey, Ted, how no, you doing? Not magnifier yet. Nope, not yet. Do you really need it, though? Do you really need my help? Okay, fair enough. Can I look at him? It's just Ted. He looks mad. If looks could kill, am I right? All right. That accomplished a whole lot of nothing. So we have to fix the magnifying glass somehow with the things inside this room that I don't really know about. Can I look out that window, maybe? Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well enjoy it. Yeah, but you're not looking out the, the window. Uh, bed. Look on a pillow. 
so fluffy and comfortable. It's my bed. It comes with all the luxuries a bed should have. So I'm, I'm looking for, like, I don't know what, what would work for fixing the magnifying glass. Uh, other than, like, tape or something. Just my stuff. I still haven't unpacked properly. You have any tape on this desk, lady? Glass? It's just an empty glass. Okay, what about these colored pencils? The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. Okay, that's not very helpful. Nothing has been very helpful so far. I figured maybe we could hear music or something, but how much is going on there? Bio book. We'll click on it. It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds like to eat the bees and other insects. Fair enough. There, there's some of that A going on. box. I think this one is full of my rare bottle caps. It's pointless dedication from a bygone era, I know. Um, more pillows. I don't think those will be any difference. I don't know what I am missing here. Whatever that is looks weird. Like that hole, hole in the top of the headboard. Okay, I can see that. But what is that? What is that thing? It's like a brush or something, it looks like. I don't know. I have no idea what we're supposed to do at this point. Millie, tell me what to do. Millie, my toy giraffe. I've had her since I was five years old. She seems frightened. I should talk to her. Okay, we're going to talk to Millie. Um, I would have to ask more about this red man, because that is kind of weird. You said that this red man is asking questions about me. Why? I'm not sure, but you might be in danger, miss. This man's done nothing but horrible things since he showed up in Paper City. In only one week, he's got everyone, including the police department, hiding and running in fear. Yeah, do you Can know you tell anything me about something him? more about this man? I'm afraid I don't know much, Miss Amber. Only stories here and there, plus what the paper has been covering. So far, I know he's been asking around about you, and that he's responsible for all the terrible things happening in the city lately. Like, how does she know that? It's not like he goes around telling everyone, hey, I, I've been doing all the horrible things, right? I mean, it doesn't make sense that he did. Last night's supper. Early bird cornflakes. I like to eat them in the evening, completely disregarding their overly advertised intended use. All right, well, if talking to Ted right now does not move us forward, then I have no idea what we're supposed to do. Which I have a feeling I have no idea what we're supposed to do, but maybe... He'll be, you know, interested in this red man nonsense. Found my magnifier yet? Nope, not yet. Do you really need it, though? Do you really need my help? Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, apparently we are at an impasse here. Is there anything at all I can click on that I haven't clicked on? I don't know. I feel like I have clicked on, like, everything ever. We must be, like, missing something, right? Like, why can't I Swiss Army Knife it? I feel like you can Swiss Army Knife fix everything. I broke my mom's glasses. I better find use oh, for this lens now. Oh! I had a feeling there might be something this there. This won't hold. I need some sort of adhesive. Okay, so, so now I have something to go off of. Now I have to find a glue of some sort. I don't know why. I, th I thought maybe the mask... There's like weird floaty things over here. I don't know what's going on with that. So an adhesive of some sort. I have not seen anything tape related, have I? I don't think so. Sticky glue. I bet this glue will be useful. Better take it with me. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to glue the thing together now. We got this figured out. Let's move it over this here. This won't hold. I need some sort of adhesive. Do I, do I have to do this first? There we go. Now I just need a lens. There we go. We got it figured out. Voila. A perfect crime. Ted will never know. Ted will totally know. Let's, let's tell Ted anyway. Found my magnifier yet? Nope. Not yet. 
Do you really need it, though? Apparently, really I help? should have clicked okay, the magnifying glass. Now we know. It's just Ted. He looks mad. Wait, what, what the heck? I have the magnifying glass, do I not? It's the magnifier. Do I have to, like, hit him with it? What do you want me to do, Ted? There. That's not my magnifier. What do you mean? It's a magnifier. It magnifies and everything? No. This is my magnifier, with the lens missing, which I'm sure you broke recently. You've replaced the lens with your mom's glasses and glued them together with kids' glue. That's preposterous. Never have I ever. Okay, never mind. This will do, I guess. Let's head out. Ted totally figured out our little scam. But he's a good guy. He's going along with it. It's kind of surprising. He seemed like a grumpy little man. Anyway, guys, we're going to end it here. We finally got Ted on our side. We're uh, fixing the magnifying glass. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, you can subscribe. Click that bell icon so you know when I put out new content. Smash that like button. Leave a comment down below. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Uh, there ha hasn't really been, it felt like much gameplay. This is a whole lot of story. But sometimes story's good. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, this game has been Bear With Me. I will have a link to that in, in the uh, description. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.